Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. So today I'm gonna to do a very brief review of a hydraulic log splitter and also do some videos of me using the log splitter and share some thoughts. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Who's smoking? I am Kevin Hood. It's this like little handheld. Feel free to click on this video right here, kind of a distance here, right? To kind of push it up and it brings it up so it's out of sight of the camera lens. All right, so three months ago, my wife got me my first offset smoker, which is actually churning right there in the back. And of course, with an offset cooker comes wood splits. And so for me, coming from pellet grills and kettle style grills and things like that with charcoal and lump and wood chunks, now I'm all of a sudden having to go through a lot of splits. Now, in order to acquire those, however, you either have to pay uh, folks to actually get them all down to size for you or if you're lucky you have someone nearby like we kind of do you could get them actually cut down to a certain size a certain diameter and length but for our folks uh, that are actually up in Richmond I think they're called bare bottom farms even them um, for them the the splits are a little bit longer and a little bit too thick for what would fit in a small Oklahoma Joe's offset so I had a few choices either get a maul an axe a maul and an axe a saw or this guy right here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the Central Machinery 10 ton hydraulic log splitter. I picked this up over at Harbor Freight. Currently it's listed for about 140 bucks without any kind of coupons. And this thing is very beefy. It's about 80 pounds. It's about 40 something inches in height. And as you can see right here, there are handles tucked into the top, which is kind of neat. So for storage wise, I can have it all laid out like this and you just slide the handles back in. Now this thing will accept logs up to 18 inches according to the spec sheet and as thick as six and a half inches. Okay, so without further ado, here is the hydraulic log splitter in action. bad right actually this one can probably be split by hand watch this mm. okay just kidding All right, well, I hope you enjoyed those sequences. Now you might be asking yourself, why do you even need one of these hydraulic wood splitters? You probably don't. If you're familiar with one of these, if you know your way around a mall or an ax and you have the space to use, 
these types of tools, then I think you're good. Uh, for me, I think I was thinking about, first of all, our two kids running around the backyard with me and just having axes around. And I don't know, it's probably just an excuse because I don't know how to swing an ax <laughs> or a maul. So I thought, gosh, it'd be a little bit easier to have a log splitter like this. And of course, once I got it, I realized it's really big. It is a little cumbersome. And there are actually a lot of splits that I end up having to go back in with a saw or the mall anyways. And so honestly, if I were to do this all again, I would probably just invest in a pretty solid stump and think more about a storage area where I can keep my mall and my axes out of reach uh, for my kids. So anyhow, there's my brief little overview and review. Hope you had a good time. As always, if you are loving the content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and we will see you next time. Oh, I didn't say it. Until next time. Who's smoking?